Hi, I'm Max Booch. This is everything you need to know about the new Photoshop update done in one poster. Okay, so we'll start with a poster size for what we're about to create here. And I will just paste in the star of the show, Maybe. A little background on Maybe. She's two years old. Oh, where's the camera? She's two years old and she loves to look outside, but she's too scared to go outside. And something we're working on, we just got her a little leash. Anyway, so this poster is for her. All right, so let's go for it. I'm gonna select the adjustment brush tool over here. Zoom in on Maybe's eyes. Maybe usually has these little green eyes, but you can't see it too well in this photo. So I will go down to the hue and saturation, boost the uh, saturation up and make a couple adjustments and you'll be able to see the adjustment as you brush over. So now that you've used the brush, you can always go back and make any adjustments you need. Say you want to change the color of the eyes, but uh, yeah, I'm going with green. Next thing I want to do is increase the brightness on maybe. So I will use the improved contextual taskbar to select brightness and contrast. And right here, I'll hit apply to object, select maybe, and you can already tell she's gotten a little bit brighter, but we can bump that up and find something that feels natural. And obviously you can see there's some weird edges happening here. So I'll just actually take the, the adjustment brush and put it in the negative mode, which can then act as just sort of a, an eraser for the adjustment. We'll then go ahead and hit shift command option E, which is a new thing I've learned, which makes a composite layer of the adjustments that we just made. And I will go ahead and use my new contextual taskbar, which is almost like assuming the things that you might need to use. So assuming I might want to select subject and then guess what I do. So I'll select subject and I'll make a paste of maybe right there. So yeah, for our poster, we have a nicely cut out maybe in the corner here. Now we'll use text to image powered by Adobe Firefly image three model to generate a photo that we'll do some compositing over, which I'll start in a new document. Again, contextual taskbar already knows sort of what I want to do. I'm going to go generate image, which pops up the generate image tab. I'm going to go with window looking out to be B E A U to full landscape of flowers and trees and mountains and sun. I want to generate a photo and I'll hit generate. This is pretty much what I imagine maybe is seeing when she's looking outside because she is so obsessed with it that it must be beautiful. So I will actually take a copy of that. I'm going to try that move again. You know what we're going to do actually? It was just going to go command A. Okay, copy that and we'll bring it back into our poster now. I'll scale that up and we'll move maybe in front of it. So we're starting we're starting to build up a little scene here, if you will. I will then go to title the piece. All right, now we're gonna show off a new update to a feature. I'll go over here and just select bullets and numbering. And then I just can start listing off our favorite things, starting with the big one. Looking out the window, followed by eating, whoa, capital letters. Eating wet food. Eating wet foot. Do you see that? Okay, wet food. She loves wet food. Um, she's a cat. And number three, sleeping. So one of the big updates to the numbering and bulleting type tool is being able to actually go in and make adjustments without having to change every single number down the list. It uh, understands what you're doing now and works like a list would. So we'll change number one to her new favorite thing, hopefully, which will be conquering fear of the out doors. There we go. Okay, so now I, what I want to do here is some compositing. I will take little maybe down. And we're actually gonna put her out in this forest out here. Uh, maybe even take some time and hide her behind this bush. So we will zoom in onto the feet here. Select our selection brush tool. I'll hide maybe's layer for now and set up our brush to be somewhat large and with about 50% hardness. I'll then just start painting over the bushes that I'd like to have in the foreground. Then I'll zoom in further and change my brush to be smaller and slightly less hard to try and isolate some of these finer details. 
As you can see now I have a selection that utilizes two different levels of feathering which I can copy and paste. I'll turn maybe Slayer back on and place her underneath the bushes and just like that the selection brush tool allows me to do the compositing extremely fast. Alright so we're going to add in the final element here which is proof of what she sort of does all day. This is the back of her head looking out to the outdoors. So I'll just do select subject here to make a isolation of maybe and I think we're just going to add her right here looking at the future it's sort of a looking in the mirror metaphor at the the person or sorry the cat that you could be in the future uh, obviously there's no pressure but i did print this out and put it next to where she sits so she can think about it all the time and motivate her so yeah i hope you enjoyed this walkthrough video of all the aspects of the new update that you can be looking forward to first off the adjustment brush which turns adjustment layers into a brush then you got text to image which is a great tool for inspiration and compositing or just getting the ball started on an idea Idea you might have. Then we got a great update on the numbering and bulleting typeface tool which allows you to go back and change the order of anything in your list super easily. And lastly the updated contextual taskbar which is just going to eliminate you sort of surfing around for the tool you need when it's all just right there in the contextual taskbar. It's also super handy for doing quick rotates or if you ever need to invert an image. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and uh, maybe leave a comment wishing maybe the best of luck on her journey for exploring the outdoors. I'm Max Boonch and thanks so much for watching.